Mohammed Abdul Malik Bujabu, according to his attorney, is a peace-loving man who can quote Gandhi and Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. According to a Gitmo terror threat assessment, Bujabu helped plan the bombing of an Israeli-owned hotel in Kenya that resulted in the death of two Jewish children. Approved to be released from Guantanamo Bay, Mohammed Abdul Malik Bajabu, a Kenyan Somali national who helped plan a Hanukkah terror attack from Gitmo in 2002 on an Israeli owned hotel in Kenya. Held at the prison since 2006, a terror threat assessment says Bajabu helped coordinate a terrorist ramming an SUV through security of a popular resort in Mombasa to detonate an explosive vest inside the hotel. So why has the Biden administration approved his release? It's part of, uh, I think, Biden's. Uh retreat from the world. Professor Eugene Kontorovich is the head of international law at George Mason University's Antonin Scalia School of Law. He sees a comparison between the release of Gitmo detainees and the decision to pull U.S. personnel from the American embassy in Ukraine. I think these are very much part of the same parcel because they send the same signal to, uh, to hostile forces, and in particular the pulling out of uh, U.S. personnel from uh, the embassy in Ukraine before Russia has attacked uh, is saying, hey guys, we're done here. The far left considers Guantanamo a symbol of injustice. The Obama-Biden administration released or transferred 197 detainees. President Obama signed an executive order to shut it down, but never did. Of the 39 detainees currently held at Gitmo, 18 are approved for release. This as the U.S. is rushing more military aid to Ukraine. The first shipment of a new $200 million package, including ammunition, has just arrived. Professor Kontorovich, who was born in Ukraine, says President Biden is signaling he's not intending to resist Russian aggression. He's not even bluffing. So uh, President Obama had at least had red lines right, with Syria, which he didn't enforce. President Biden, he's not playing around with uh, red lines. He says there's no red lines. If Putin did not intend to invade Ukraine previously, he must certainly be reassessing his plans now because he'd look uh, like a sucker. One more thing on Gitmo. The Pentagon's periodic review board found that all five men did not present or no longer present a threat to the United States. Their ability to leave the prison could be delayed as Washington could find trouble with the detainees' home countries or other countries willing to accept them.